Hey guys, what's up? It's Eric here with Divine Conversations. Thank you so much for joining me. Welcome to your uh, weekly discussion. This is for twins in separation. Um, lots to talk about. First of all, it's my birthday. <laughs> Yay, happy birthday to me. I am 31 years young. Woo! Uh, I have to say that my third, I, uh, turning 30 has been like the best thing ever, um, <laughs> with, uh, which you don't normally hear people say. But um, I remember being a kid, we were living up, my family and I were living up in Gilderland at this time. So um, this was like between fourth and sixth grade. And I remember thinking to myself that I just absolutely could not wait until I turned 30. And I never really understood why. Like, screw teens, screw the 20s, I wanna be 30. And then I turned 30 and now I'm like, oh, I get it. Because honestly, my life started, really, really truly started at 30. Like, once I turned 30, um, I knew that <laughs> shit was about to hit the fan. Um, I knew instantly that I was not playing around anymore and I was going to be taking steps to really advance myself in life in the way that I actually wanted to instead of the way I was being told to. And ultimately that led me here. So today is actually um, a really reflective day for me because um, of how much I have changed in this last year. Um, so it's, it's really cool, uh, especially in terms of like this whole twin flame journey thingy, like, cause yeah, I turned 30, my birthday, yeah, right, I turned 30 and then I started, I, I, and then I came into contact with my twin in like late June, okay? So to think about, well, actually, no, that's not true. I had met him a few years before, but um, like we didn't actually start really interacting with each other because we were working at the same place um, until, yeah, like late, until I started working there in like late June. So, I mean, the, the amount of growth that I've gone through in this year has been really, really astounding. Um, and I'm very, very grateful for it. And I'm also very grateful for you guys. Um, I mean, you guys are awesome. And having this community of people to connect with is really life-saving. I'm definitely going to say life-saving. Because <laughs> if we didn't have this community of people to like talk about this with, I don't know where any of us would be. And I say that all the time. I don't know where I would be if it weren't for the community and for you guys also. So thank you for your support. Um, I also want to thank you guys because we're above 3,000 subscribers. I'm so, so grateful for that. And I have been saying for a long time that, you know, I wanted to do some extra readings, but I really haven't been able to get to it because, um, true to last week's message, I needed to rest. Like any, all the free time I had has been spent in my room, laying in bed, just relaxing, relaxing. Um, and I mean, it is absolutely necessary. I mean, I wanted to do a bunch of extra readings just within like the past few days and I had the time to do it and I would get up in the morning and be like, yes, I'm going to do this. And then my body was like, no, you're not. We're staying right here. <laughs> So whatever, I'm working on it, guys. Um, I want to do some extra stuff for you guys. I want to expand the channel more, um, but it'll come. It'll come. <sighs> so what do we want to talk about? Uh, the energies have been really intense. And I know, I mean, we've all been saying that for weeks, but things are super, super intense right now. I know the Divine Masculine is really, in some cases, is kind of getting his, his ass handed to him. His or her ass is handed to them. Um, and... For the Divine Feminine, it's really not that much. We're more feeling the energies coming that, that the Divine Masculine is going through. Um, but a lot there's a lot of purging happening, a lot of karmic purging happening for the Divine Masculine. On the, the part of the Divine Feminine, you know, we for the most part, we've gotten through a lot of that already. We've worked through a lot of our own karmas, our own individual karma. So, um, but see, the thing about it is that happened over a long period of time for the Divine Feminine. For the Divine Masculine, it's kind of just being thrown in his face and he's de they're dealing with it on an accelerated level. Um, so if you go through periods where you feel like, you know, you're feeling all these low vibrational energies and you don't know where it's coming from, again, like I said last week, it could be coming from your Divine Masculine. Um, 
And so it's really important for us Divine Feminines to really, on an energetic level, keep our thoughts as positive about our Divine Masculines as possible. Focus on the truth within them, the strength within them, instead of focusing on, um, you know, negative bullshit. Um, another thing I want to say about the reading. So I, I, I last week I did uh, the reading, I did a mirror reading for the Twins in Separation. Um, and I'm going to continue doing that. And here's why. Um, it is very, it is imperative, not even very, very important. It's imperative that we approach this journey as, um, and honestly, we approach these videos that we watch so often as um, how we're relating to our own masculine energy. We need to find union within before union in the external is going to come into play. So that means balancing your masculine and feminine energies. That means finding your divine masculine within for the divine feminine or for the divine masculine, finding your divine feminine within and working on that bond. Just like anything else, everything in your experience stems from your, uh, everything in your external experience stems from your internal uh, reality, yes? So because of that, um, I'm going to be doing these twin flame separation videos um, as mirror readings moving forward. Because with the last spread I was doing, you know, it was more serving the, um, the dichotomous point of view here, the, the separate point of view, when in reality, we're not, we're never separate. I mean, sure, physically, we may not be in contact, we don't talk to each other, we don't see each other, but energetically, we are always together. We are in union anyway. This has already happened, it's just we are in the process of catching up to it, and, and in the physical sense. Um, and so I was trying to uh, make some of those positions in the old read in the old spread. Um, I was trying to look at it from a point of view of also seeing it within, uh, like seeing the energy as your twin within instead of just this just being the external version of your your twin. But it didn't. I don't feel like it. Never felt like it really fit well. So in this sense, it's going to be much easier to see that. In this spread it's going to be much easier to to look at it in this way so that's why I'm moving forward with it like this um, another bit of advice if you guys don't know about Aluna Ash please check her out I watched like three of her videos today just because I, number one I was being guided to but number two I mean she was just she was, it was just resonating so well with me that um, I want to share I want you guys to I'm sure a lot of you already um, are watching her, I've, no, I've started to notice that we all, we have kind of like our, as, um, as, uh, channel holders, people that have these channels, we tend to have a lot of similar, um, subscribers. So a lot of you probably already know about Aluna, but if you don't, check her out. Um, Aluna Ash, A-L-U-N-A-A-S-H, yeah? What else? Uh, of sharing a little bit of my experience, I have definitely, definitely come into a greater sense of um, detachment, but also union within. Um, and it's like one of the most amazing feelings ever. Because um, it's literally, I I'm literally experiencing these emotions, this feeling, this deep passion that I felt for my twin in the beginning, in like the beginning stages of this journey for me. I'm feeling these emotions again, but it's much more stable and grounded. And number one, like lacking all kinds of codependency, which is great. Um, but it's like, I don't really, in a sense, I don't, I don't need to have that confirmation from him in the physical right now because I found it internally. Um, and that don't get me wrong. Don't get me wrong. I still want that from him. But at the same time, I, I am I am understanding now. I'm in a much more knowing place um, that this is actually coming through. This is happening, you know. And it's because I'm working on balance within, which ultimately influences him, my twin, to balance uh, to get bring balance to himself in his life. So hey, that's that's really great. It's a really great feeling, guys. I mean, it's 
it's just whole and completeness. I'm not uh, completeness. I'm not going to say I'm like completely whole. You know what I mean? Like I, I'm, I've come pretty far. I'll tell you that. Um, and it's much easier to extend unconditional love to people at this point because of the healing that I've done in my, on my own and because of the balance I've found on my own. Um, I do find myself switching back and forth from masculine to feminine energy quite often. Um, and naturally, like it just happens at certain points when it's needed. Of course, I do rest in the feminine energy, but I do find that my masculine energy will come forward at certain times and I didn't even have to try. It just happens because they're working together now. They're a team now. So, which is, which is a great feeling. Even saying that is just like filling me with so much joy right now. <laughs> like I'm getting all giggly because it's true and it's fun. I love it. Um, so that's. I, I, I hope I can lead by example, uh, and I really hope that, you know, this, uh, me changing the spread to mirror readings now for us in separation will really help you find that balance yourself. Um, and the last thing I wanted to talk about, oh man, I just had it, 11-11, yay! I just had it, where did it go? Um, there was one more point I wanted to make. Oh, shoot. Well, I hope I figure, I, I remember it. I, if I remember it, I'll bring it forward. But it was just one more piece, a uh, little little nugget of info for you guys. Um, yeah, so let's just get into the reading. And let's see what comes up for us this week, yeah? Oh, I remember now. Okay, so something I've also figured out. If you, like me, were resonating with both the separation videos and the union videos, this is why it's because you have come into your you either you have come into union internally in your ex internal world or you are in the pro you're like literally in the process or in making progress towards union within okay finding your divine masculine or divine feminine within so that could be why in your external reality you are experiencing separation little to no contact um n you know not seeing each other or anything but in, but in, but, but so you could, re you, you, you would most likely resonate with the separation video, but then you also could be resonating with the union video because you have reached a state, a certain amount or complete union within. Okay. And, um, when manifesting in physical reality, it does, there is a lag time between what you're focusing on, what you're desiring to be manifested and the actual physical, it, it physically showing up. In your reality okay there we go now we're ready <laughs> let's get to the reading so, 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 so here we go spirit please make me a clear channel for the twin flame collective please bring us the best messages for the twins um, for you know, I'm not even going to put a time period, but at this moment, please bring us the best messages for the twins at this moment. Uh, please give me, please give us a clear snapshot of the divine feminine uh, represented by the, the deck on the right and the divine masculine represented at the deck, by the deck on the left at this moment in time. And please help us understand how these energies are interacting with each other. Each other. Thank you so much, spirit. Now, guys, please remember that um, these messages are not meant to be time sensitive, okay? They are, time is an illusion, guys. So whenever you find this video, and this is why I didn't want to put a, a time frame on it, whenever you find this video and it resonates with you, then the message was meant for you at that moment, okay? So Divine Feminine, let's shuffle you up a little here. Please remember to, to um, you know, as these messages come through, don't just look at them from the point of view of this is what your divine masculine is going through in a physical sense. Also, um, take it in as a message for you, for the divine masculine within you. Yes? Your masculine energies or your feminine energies, if you are a divine masculine and you're watching this. Okay. One more shuffle, and then Divine Feminine, your energies will be set. Okay. Let's cut the deck here. All right, Divine Feminine. 
You are all set, ready to go. Let's shuffle the Divine Masculine's deck here. <sighs> Divine Masculine. Whoops. Divine Masculine. Okay, one more shuffle for you, Divine Masculine. And then you will be set. Oh, well. We'll cut the deck and then you'll be set, yeah? Excellent. Divine Masculine, you are ready to go. Ready to go. All right, let's start with the Divine Feminine, shall we? Your overall energy right now, Divine Feminine, we have the Eight of Swords. You're stuck up in your head about something. Um, this is self def Oh, okay. Okay, this is self-defeating uh, thoughts and actions. Um, and this is so, this is, it's so important this is super, super important right now. And this is actually something I actually have been wanting to talk about with the Divine Feminine for some time. But before I go any further, yep, the Fool in Reverse, the Star, and the Five of Wands. So, yep, yep, yep. Okay, here's the deal. Here is the deal. Divine Feminine, um... I know, I know that a lot has happened <laughs> between you and your, and you, between you and the divine masculine. Trust me, I've been there. But it is incredibly important for us, divine feminines, as we are, our realm is, uh, as we are more within the fifth dimensional uh, consciousness, whereas the divine masculine is of the third or third dimensional consciousness or physical consciousness, it is super, super important for us to get our mental process in check. If you, if you really, if, if you really want to, um, move through the twin flame situation and not feel all this anger, this hurt, this frustration and all that, you have to change the way you think the way you approach the situation with your divine masculine mentally. I know, I understand that there's been a lot, a lot of shitty things that have gone on, okay? I've experienced them myself. But it wasn't until I chose, literally, because it is absolutely a choice because you do have control over your thoughts. Um, you do have the choice to think certain things or not think certain things. Um, but it wasn't until I chose to stop looking at my Divine Masculine in the current 3D representation that I have seen and that everyone else knows him as. And once I chose to see him for the being that I knew, I felt in my heart he truly is, that's when things changed for me. That's when I was able to look at my own masculine energy and balance my own self out and work on um, you know, seeing things differently, okay? The Fool in Reverse, and so that's all, <laughs> yes, all of that came from the Eight of Swords, okay? Because this is, basically, this is a self-imposed prison. The reason why so many of us have been on this path for so damn long is because we keep choosing to see things as they have been physically represented instead of understanding that this is a false representation of who we truly are, even from the feminine point of view, okay? How we see ourselves as feminine uh, uh, beings needs to change. We need to see the truth within us and, and express that truth within us, right? Um, and this is also not just from the Eight of Swords. This is also coming from the Five of Wands. And I'll get to the other cards in a second, but the five, I, I want to say this now because the Eight of Swords and the Five of Wands are directly related. The re, the, 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 most of the reason for being in this Eight of Swords energy is because of that damn peanut gallery. <laughs> so in this sense, it's because of um, the fact that many people, unless, not many people, 
all people, I'm going to say, unless you're on a twin flame journey, there's no way you could understand it. And we could sit here, those of us that are on the journey, we could sit here and try to explain it to you until we're blue in the face. Sorry, my screen went out on me. Um, we, until we're blue in the face and they still won't get it. And it's not their fault. I mean, they're not in the middle of it. They could, they, I mean, it would be very difficult for them to understand it because they're not experiencing it themselves. Okay. But that helps. But, but the, when certain shitty things happen between the twins and like, say, you talk to your friends about it, they only help to reinforce that negative mindset. Because then a lot of the time, the conversation di uh, uh, um, spirals down into, oh, see, I told you, I told you, the man, this, this, men do this, and men do that, and blah, blah, blah. And it's the same for the masculines, or like, it's the same for men in relation to women. Oh, see, I told you, she ain't, she ain't nothing but this, that, and the other. All women do this. All men do that, blah, blah, blah. See, and that's this, this vicious cycle that we keep ourselves in actively, both as men and women, regardless of how you fall on the sexual preference spectrum. This is how we keep ourselves in this negative cycle when it comes to relationships because we've come to expect certain things and so we focus on it mentally and then, of course... Duh, law of attraction, guys. Of course it's going to show up in your experience. Of course so-and-so is going to treat you like X, Y, and Z. Why? Because you believe that it's coming. However, however, if you believe that something else is coming, then that's what you will get. So the fool in reverse here is saying is a, is a blockage towards changing this mindset. And I understand. I really get it, Divine fem Feminine. It's hard to change conditioning. You don't, I mean, you do know, but ask the Divine Masculine. They have been dealing with conditioning, issues towards conditioning pretty heavily lately. Okay? It's hard to change the way you see something having experienced so much of it. But Understand and rest in the knowledge that awareness of the fact that you have been helping to perpetuate it, right, by keeping your thoughts in a certain space, 2222, you have helped create it. So understanding that could will help you um, change it up in the future. And so here we have the star, which is bringing healing. Okay? This is the healing that you have been looking for. You cannot... You cannot expect your twin to change and heal without doing the work yourself. So I really want us, as Divine Feminines, I want us to get away from this energy of screw him, fuck him, he's not doing his work, I cut him off, he's lost me, I'm done, but I really want us to get away from that energy. Because when we express like that, and we put it all off on the Divine Masculine, we are not taking responsibility for our own actions, our own part, piece of the puzzle. And to be quite honest, what you need to do the most is not focus on your divine master and what he's doing, but instead focus on you. And this is exactly why I stopped doing karmic check-in readings, because that shit is none of your business. Focus on you, boo. Focus on you. The more you focus on yourself and do your healing work to bring balance and union within, you will influence your twin. We are two parts of the same whole, okay? Okay, I think I said everything I needed to say there. I'm not trying to be too preachy, but this but this is something that has really been... been um, bothering me lately, especially in a lot of the comments that I've been seeing. Like, I understand you have a right to be upset if someone is really doing you wrong, okay? Um, and you have, a, you have a right to express that to a community that is, uh, um, try, is here for you and wants to help you. So in this sense, it's the Twin Flame community. But don't hold on to that any longer, okay? Like, my twin's done some shit I'm not really happy about, but it doesn't matter anymore. Why? Because it all served to heal. Everything happened exactly as it needed to so that we could heal and grow. 
And don't get me wrong, I'm not immaculate. I've done some shit too, guys. Like, I ain't no saint. <laughs> it's, so, you really gotta come to terms with that, okay? You have to look at your actions. You have to focus more on what you're bringing to the table instead of all the shit that they're doing out there. Okay, Divine Feminine? I love you. <laughs> Let's get into your storyline. We have the Hanged Man. I, literally, I was just talking. This is everything I was just saying. Sus uh, suspending yourself, isolating yourself even. So energetic detachment is what I'm getting from this. Deta uh, working on greater detachment in the physical. Um, and, 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 and detaching and doing this in order to gain enlightenment. Okay. Going within in a sense to gain enlightenment. Um, and this is coupled with the two of cups in reverse. Now the two of cups in reverse right here, divine feminine. Yeah, sure. It's talking about the divine masculine. Uh, in the physical sense. So what you're, what the, the message here is in order for this to, the, the two of cups is reversed right now. And remember, this is a soulmate card. This is also a twin flame card if you want to see it that way. But the reason why this energy is blocked right now is because you, Divine Feminine, need to focus on going inside, uh, on isolating yourself, detaching from the situation as much as you can. Obviously, you will never be completely detached from your twin. You cannot be completely detached from yourself. But you need to detach as much as you possibly can in order to gain some enlightenment. In order to, the, the message is very, very clear, Divine Feminine, in order for you to see the error of your ways, not just focusing on what your Divine Masculine has done. Okay? Moving forward, we have, look at that, the Two of Swords. And in this deck, this is very much a meditative card for me. Um, Oh, before I go any further, I want to say I, I have reached a serious level of detachment. Now, I, I explained this in, my, in, the, in the discussion last week about how I had a moment in that week where, uh, in that week prior to doing the video, I think it was like Thursday night, um, where me and my twin were in our normal telepathic communication at night. And I literally said, you know what? I just need to pull away energetically. And I did. He wasn't happy about it. I wasn't happy about it. But I needed to do it. And that has been one of the most balancing, balancing things that I've done throughout this process. I'm still in a bit of energetic detachment. Like, I see myself now as instead of surrounding him energetically with a bunch of energy, I see us now as two entities. He's the sun and I'm the moon and I'm just kind of orbiting around him. If that makes sense. And it's funny because I mentioned, I do see him as the sun to my moon. <laughs> anyway, so with the two of swords here, this is talking about meditation, rest even. Cause remember, the message last week for the Divine Feminine is, is please rest, okay? Um, what I'm getting with the Two of Swords here is taking time to meditate and decipher, okay? Look at things objectively. In the Tarot Apocalypsis deck, which I'm going to be using for the Divine Masculine, we'll see if the Two of Swords comes up. I hope it does because I want you to see, I want you guys to see this, but um, that card is depicted as a man sitting in front of a chess board playing chess so, and he's trying to decide which move to make in this i'm getting a very similar energy for you divine feminine it's like you need to take some time to go through all this mental clutter clear away all of the things that you've been holding on to that are making you so angry or making you you know the the the, the, the right the eight of swords aspects that you were holding on to that have helped have you feeling like you're trapped in this cycle um of experiencing the same, same shit over and over again in order to see, well, wait, what did I cause and what did he or she cause? Like, where do my, where, where do my, um, influences come through here? And the two of swords is, <sighs> the four of swords in reverse. You need to rest divine feminine, rest and meditate period. Go through the mental clutter. 
The Four of Swords is reversed here because there is a lot of resistance towards this. I'm picking up some energy from a good amount of the Divine Feminines out there right now that I'm connecting with, that there is a refusal. There is a, refu a refusal to see how you have helped perpetuate this, some of what you, whatever you've been experiencing in your life. And I'm not going to say all of it, okay? Um, because some of it is from, because I mean, some of it's from the Divine Masculine too. But there is a refusal to a certain extent, a refusal towards taking responsibility here, Divine Feminine. And honestly, the more that you keep yourself in that energy, the more you're going to experience whatever it is the Eight of Swords is, uh, is representing for you. Okay? Moving forward, we have the Nine of Cups. Wish fulfillment. That's very good. With ah the Chariot in reverse. Okay, so I'm getting that there's a pause. There needs to be a pause. And what the universe is saying here is that um, just slow down for a second and just... Take a break. Your dreams are still going to be there. They're still coming forward. Everything is still manifesting for you. But you need to take a break for a while. You need to stop the stop stop working on movement towards your twin and instead start working on movement within. And that's where the restful meditative energy comes in. Turn this chariot energy that you have been holding for your twin in the physical sense, inward, and use it towards moving towards union within yourself, right? Finally, in your storyline, Divine Masculine, we have the uh, page, yeah, the page of swords in reverse with the ace of swords in reverse. Um, yeah, okay. And, and this is talking about what I was saying about needing to go in, go within and work through the mental clutter. There is resistance to it. The Knight of, I'm sorry, not the Knight, the Page of Swords, or in this deck it's referred to as the Knave of Swords. But the Page of Swords energy here is representing inquisitiveness. And um, you could say spying, but I like to see it as more as, in this sense, I like to see it as more as gaining intel, right? And... The, and then the, the knave or the page of swords is looking for that, whatever it is that would represent the ace of swords, the aha moment, the epiphany. There is resistance to this, Divine Feminine. You have to go within and utilize this page of swords energy to reach your aha moment. Because I bet you, I bet you, watch. Watch, I bet you. You go within, you start doing the work, you start digging through all the clutter, and then all of a sudden it's like, Oh, shit, that's why that happened. Yeah, yeah, you're already getting it, aren't you? <laughs> there it is, Divine Feminine. All right, so that's, yeah. Okay, there is that. Let's get into the Divine Masculine it's energy, starting off with the Three of Swords. Yeah, the Divine Masculine is dealing with a lot of heartbreak. Look, the, the, the Divine, I don't know if y'all have picked, I mean, I, I've said it, I said it last week, I'm sure you've heard it from other readers, but the Divine Masculine is really going through it right now. But they are actually processing all this Three of Swords energy, and it's and it's many different ways. Um, it's the Three of Swords energy between you two. It is with um, karmic partners, um, family members, businesses, whatever, whatever. I mean, it, it, I'm, and I'm channeling for a lot of people because it really could be anything, but we've got the three of swords here. We've got the queen of pentacles and we've got the four of cups reverse. And underneath all of that, we've got the emperor. So, Hey, divine masculine, you're showing up. Woo. Um, and I say that for a reason because the divine masculine really is showing up now. Um, the Divine Masculine is absolutely stepping into his um, Divine Masculine power. He's taking control of his life, okay? Um, he's, haha, <laughs> I just heard he's starting to see the forest for the trees, right? Um, now, with our overall energies here, 
the Three of Swords, the Four of Cups, and the Queen of Pentacles. The Emperor, and the, the, for some of you, Divine Masculine, you are dealing with karmic partners. It's like you're not willing, with the Four of Cups in reverse here, you're not willing to accept any more of what this karmic relationship is providing to you. And you're processing, you're dealing with the heartbreak surrounding that. Uh, for some of you Divine Masculines, it's really not that heartbreaking. <laughs> I'll tell you that much. Um, but for others of you, yes, it is very heartbreaking. But what I'm, but in the in the sense of karmic partners, you're not willing to forego this offer that your divine feminine has been handing, trying to hand to you for so long. Okay, so that's really good. Um, for and so outside of karmic relationships, now now those that's for those of you that are in karmic relationships or still dealing with karmic relationships, and that could be work, family, doesn't have to be another romantic partner. All right. For others of you that are not in karmic relationships or have already released that and you moved away from it and now you're on your own and you're single, again, it's that divine masculine, you are stepping into your power, you are honing your strength, and you realize, you really are starting to realize just how much you have lost in not accepting this offer from your divine feminine, in not being able to accept this offer, I'm going to also say. Um, because... For the most part, I know from in my situation, all of the offers I was making to the Divine Divine Masculine, he really was not able to accept it. It's not that he was, I mean, he was acting in kind of shitty ways sometimes, but, and so was I, so was I, but um, that was all part of the learning process. And, you know, neither one of us were really in a place to really accept what we both wanted from each other, okay? Um... Yeah, that's all I want to say about that. So let's get into the storyline now for you, Divine Masculine. Yeah. We have the Five of Pentacles in reverse. And we have the Chariot in reverse. So, okay, we're starting off with some, with some mirroring here. And... Okay. Please excuse me, I'm just channeling the message here because there's a lot coming through. Um, okay, first off, Divine Masculine. The Five of Pentacles in reverse is saying that, you know, you're not, you're not willing to feel this energy of lack anymore. And with the Chariot in reverse, okay, so the message here is um, you are not in a, in a place or in a state right now, you're not in an energetic vibr vibration of moving towards all of these situations that have just left you out in the cold anymore. You've stopped that. The buck stops here, is what I'm hearing. You have stopped um, pursuing these things that have ultimately just filled you with a bunch of lack, or feeling like you're lacking, or feeling like you're left out in the cold. Okay? Um, and tying this in for the Divine Feminine, Uh, wish fulfillment is coming to you because of this, for in, in relation to your divine masculine, because your divine masculine is choosing not to move forward towards these things anymore. Yeah, I'm, please excuse the pause, I'm channeling here. I mean, that's really the message. <laughs> Oh, but also, Divine Feminine, you can, like I said, when, we, when I was talking to you in your spread, you can help facilitate this in your Divine Masculine by not, by not focusing on what's lacking, as in your Divine Masculine not being around, and not focusing on what your Divine Masculine is doing in the external world, and instead turning that energy in on yourself and using the energy of the cha chariot to drive you towards union within. Okay, and by doing that, you are helping influence divine the divine masculine in doing his work, and vice versa. Because as the divine masculine does his work and his healing, or her, whatever you guys get it. But at this point, you guys understand that when I say him or her, I'm talking to the energies, not gender. But um, and if you don't get with it, <laughs> but 
um, when the divine masculine does their work and heals certain aspects, that helps you, divine feminine, your mirrors, your twins, yes? Next, for the divine masculine, we have the six of cups in reverse. Come back here, you. Hey, okay. The six of cups in reverse. Where, you, okay. With strength in reverse. So, um, yeah. For the most part, the divine masculine Okay, and this is another message that I was trying to channel when I, when I was at the first set, but it wasn't really coming through. But now it's coming through because I get I have more greater a greater definition. Um, the divine masculine is really working on trying, and this is a message that's been coming up from a lot of readers lately. But the divine masculine is really trying to find the strength to move forward, and that is because of this three of swords energy, that. They are processing right now. I mean, the Six of Cups is here, okay? And the, and the Six of Cups is here for the Divine Masculine. The Two of Cups is here for the Divine Feminine. So um, this is a soulmate relationship. This energy is here, but it's blocked. For the Divine Fe Masculine, he is aware that this is a very, very deep connection, but he doesn't quite have the strength right now to come forward, which is what he wants to do. And what the chariot in the reverse, in the five of pentacles reverse, he doesn't want to feel this lack. He wants to move forward with this offer that's been trying to come forward towards him for a long time, but he doesn't necessarily have the strength or the confidence right now to do it. He is working on building that. Okay, moving forward, we have the Seven of Swords in reverse. I like to see that with the Sun in reverse. Okay, so look, the Divine, and yeah, the Divine Masculine is very much focused on this Seven of Swords energy. How, um, you know, how, this, how the relationship may have been cheated, um, deceptive behavior, um, some divine masculines feel like all is lost, but the sun in reverse, the sun is here saying, no, it's not all lost. The sun in reverse is saying, you might think it's all lost. You may not be able to see the sun through the clouds, but the sun is still in fact shining. I mean, during the daytime, I have a ton of cloud cover right now, but the sun is still illuminating the world around me. Okay. Do not despair. Just because there was, there was deception, um, cheating, um, stealing, I don't know, whatever the Seven of Swords energy represents for you, just because that was around does not mean, oh, but this, it does not mean that all is lost. And this is also t relating to tying back to what I was saying for the Divine Feminine in the beginning about needing to see your Divine Masculine differently. A lot of the Divine Masculines feel like, you know, they can't return, they can't come back, they can't try and communicate because their Divine Feminine is, is not going to accept them. So that's where deep healing needs to come into play, which the star is representing here. Divine Feminine, you need, if you ever want, I mean, if you, we, sorry, I'm getting a bit tongue-tied. There's a lot I want to say. But um, you did not meet your twin by accident. And you're not really going to be able to get off the path. This is what you agreed upon. This is what you came here to do. Okay, this is part of your mission. So even if you're you're of the of the the mindset right now, either divine feminine or divine masculine, if either of you, any of you, are of the mindset right now, well, fuck them. I'm done. I'm gonna go find someone else. All right, cool. Universe is gonna be like, yeah, sure, that's great. You can run along and do that for now. I'm just gonna pull you back onto this path later on. Probably once you've completely forgotten about it. And if that happens, I'm picking up right now. If that happens for some of you. Y'all are just going to be thrown right back into the spot that you left at when you walked away. And you're going to have to deal with those emotions, emotions then, clean it all up, and come into union with your twin. You know? Because we're meant to. I mean, this is, not, this is not a coincidence. This is not some fluke. This is not some joke the universe is playing on us. This is serious. So that's where, for the Divine Feminine, that's where... I think 4444, that's where a lot of your healing needs to be focused right now, 
in understanding that everything happens for a reason. Everything has panned out the way it has for a reason, and that is for us to facilitate healing. Okay, you have to look at these things differently. You have to see your divine masculine differently. Divine masculine, you have to see yourself differently. Not through the eyes of society that's been trying to control all of us, but through the eyes of your own truth, your own authenticity. Okay. Oh, wow. I am on that soapbox today, y'all. <laughs> but I guess, I mean, I'm here to help, so I'm trying to. I'm sorry if I'm coming across a little stern. If I'm triggering you guys right now, I apologize. But at the same time, I've come to learn that triggers are a really good thing. Like, I really, and I know this sounds crazy. I probably am a little crazy for this. But I, it's, not, it's not like I'm going around seeking triggers. But when they do happen, it's actually, I find it to be a very, very good thing. Because now I know, aha, 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 that's something that needs to be healed. All right, let's get down to work. You know what I mean? Okay, finally, for the Divine Masculine, we have, oh, guys, the Knight of Cups. Huh? With... Temperance. Excellent. Excellent, excellent, excellent. And what now, first I want to point out, let's see, let me just double check here. Okay. All right. So just trying to see if we have any mirroring in the cards. And it doesn't look like we do. Okay. I'll get into that in a second. But the Knight of Cups, and in this deck it's it's labeled as, it's called the Prince of Cups. But the Knight of Cups and Temperance. Now, each one of these positions in the storyline is a minor arcana coupled with a major arcana. Okay, I want to point that out first. Also, each one of these positions, well, actually, I'm sorry, the first three positions in the Divine Masculine storyline Oh, wait, no, we do have mirroring. I'm so sorry. The chariot. Boom. There it is. Okay, great. Never mind. <laughs> um, but it's the first three positions here for the Divine Masculine are all reversed. But what is upright? Balance and the Knight of Cups. Can I get an amen? Okay. The Divine Masculine wants to reach out. They want to reconcile Divine Feminine. They may not show it in their external reality, okay? I know for a fact, I know this for a fact, because I, my twin and I crossed paths this past week, and I did say hi to him because he was in my vicinity and I didn't want to be rude, and also I wanted to say hi to him. I wanted to talk to him. He didn't respond. Um, and I am not upset about that. I know exactly why he did that because he's not ready to talk. It was good enough. Honestly, it was, it's, it's good enough that he came through and I got to see him in person. Really didn't make too much. I did not make eye contact with, with him. Really didn't look at him much, but I could see him in my periphery. And honestly, that was, that was enough. But so I, I say that to say, if, like he, if you do, like if you do cross paths with them, maybe if you work with them and, and or whatever, and they don't show you the fact that they want to reach out and speak with you, please know that it is going on underneath the surface. But why aren't they speaking? Why are they clamming up? Why are they not? Why? Because they don't know how to right now. They're caught up in the Three of Swords in processing the Three of Swords energy. They're kind of focused on the Three of Swords energy right now because what they're going through, I'm speaking, I'm speaking to the Divine Feminine <laughs> on behalf of the Divine Masculine right now. What the Divine Masculine and Divine Feminine is going through is understanding how the Three of Swords has been a thing in their lives. Not just with you, Divine Feminine, but with their karmic partners, their families, all these, their other relationships. <laughs> This is an aspect of this emperor power that they're stepping into right now, okay? But look, y'all, Divine Masculine wants to talk. Divine Masculine loves you, all right? And he wants to come forward. He wants to offer this cup of love to you. 
He doesn't know how to do it right now. But the good thing about this is that these two cards are upright. So temperance is saying balance is being stricken. Okay? Just give them more time. The Divine Masculine just needs more time. Patience. And Divine Masculine, you have patience with yourself. Okay? Because you're doing the work. Everything going is going exactly as it's as it needs to be, exactly according to plan. Everything that has happened between you and your divine feminine, divine masculine, was absolutely necessary and was absolutely according to plan because it has been in service of facilitating healing for the both of you. All right? I, I could not be more, I could not be happier to see the Knight of Cups and Temperance upright at the end of this reading for you, divine masculine. That is fucking fantastic, guys. All right. <laughs> Let us let me get into the uh, relationship spread from the uh, Animal Spirit deck. I'm going to give this three shuffles. Aluna Ash, which her name was just repeated in my head. Guys, check out Aluna Ash if you have not already. She is bomb. Okay, and she's really, actually, the thing about it is, it's not that she's just bomb, it's just that she's really bringing forward a lot of valuable information, okay? And I would encourage, uh, honestly, I would encourage most of you to, um, to uh, reduce the amount, to reduce the amount of readers that you watch um, because too much influence and too much input um, can really confuse you and throw you all over the place. Um, and instead of looking for readings or videos that give you an idea of what's going on with your Divine Masculine, um, look towards readers and videos that are going to give you a better understanding of what's happening in your life. Also, look for readers um, and YouTubers um, and teachers, healers that are helping you understand the concepts of what's really going on spiritually, uh, planetarily. Um, try to take some of your focus off of the twin flame aspect and put more focus on understanding greater truths about reality. Yeah, that actually that'll help you put some of these things at ease especially you divine feminine because we are we as the feminine energies here we tend to seek this stuff out more so as in an effort to kind of take your mind off of the twin flame situation a little bit more seeking out spiritual guidance in other forms spiritual knowledge in other forms is really going to help you do that and it's going to help you heal also yeah okay so the first card is going to be for the divine masculine one card for the Divine Masculine, please. Hyena. For the Divine Feminine, we have Octopus. Did this come out last week? Hmm, I don't remember. I'll have to go look. And the uh, shadow dynamic in the relationship is Deer. The illuminated dynamic for the relationship is this one. Wolf. Ooh. Now, I don't read these in... Re You know what? I am going to read these in reverse. Oh boy. It's getting crazy up in here, y'all. <laughs> and the only reason I'm doing it in reverse is because um, they do have uh, positive and negative aspects to themselves. So that's going to help me bring greater clarity to this. So for the Divine Masculine, we have Hyena. Give me just a second, guys. I do have to... There we are, hyena. Humor, wit, sarcasm. The hyena personality is a jokester and crowd pleaser, but below the surface, there are unfulfilled dreams to be realized. When the hyena card appears, it's time to reflect on your reliance on sarcasm and humor and to express your truth. Are you using jokes to hide old resentments in relationships or to mask things that you feel uncomfortable discussing? What would happen if you took your goals seriously? When in balance, hyena is charming, witty, and fun to be around. When out of balance, hyena is scrappy 
petty, and suspicious. To bring into balance, one must practice sobriety. Yeah. And, I, and this has been a common theme for the Divine Masculine. Uh, the peanut gallery. People telling, people, you know, getting caught up in how things, quote, should be instead of how they really are for you, Divine Masculine, right? I mean, that's been a common theme. This is almost, this is speaking to that devil energy that you've been working so hard to break away from. I do feel like you're being successful here. And I do feel like humor is going to help you. It does help you. But the caution is using humor to avoid the truth. Guys, the more you avoid something, the worse it's going to get. And if you really want to be happy and full and whole and healthy, you have to deal with the things that are harming you, holding you back, clogging you up. You know what I mean? Okay. For the Divine Feminine, we have octop Octopus. But it, it did come out reversed, so I'm going to read it this way. Okay? Okay. Okay. <laughs> Give me just a second here. Octopus. Reaching, yearning, lacking boundaries and direction. The octopus signifies a wonderfully perspective mind paired with a lack of healthy boundaries. Unfortunately, this results in well-intended but messy relationships. The octopus entwines itself into other people's business Oof. Uh, yeah. and shares their own without restraint. They believe that's what it means to be, quote, close. If you notice after spending time with someone that you feel drained or uneasy, the essence of octopus is at play. Begin to establish healthy boundaries. Be patient and firm. It may be very it may be a very old habit to change. Um yeah, so when in balance, uh octopus is interested, engaged, and intelligent. When out of balance, <laughs> octopus is needy, clingy, and lacks courage. To bring into balance uh, one needs space to oneself and oneself and talk therapy. So, okay, octopus in reverse is absolutely talking about that big old tirade I went on in the beginning of the video. Okay, Divine Feminine, when we were talking about the Eight of Swords and how it's time to change your perspective. It's time to go within, to seek union and balance within yourself. And stop reaching out into the external for your fulfillment. You ha must, 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 must find this uh, fulfillment within. Okay? Whatever your divine masculine may or may not have, if that's the case, done to you, for you, with you, whatever. No matter how it looks on the surface... Ultimately, you also, Divine Feminine, possess some of that energy. Okay? So instead of blaming the Divine Masculine for everything, and instead of saying, oh, I'm doing all my work and he's not doing shit, you don't know that, first of all. Especially if you're in separation and you guys aren't talking. And just because he may not be showing it to you doesn't mean he's not doing the work. But you can't, you can't like sit there and blame the divine masculine for everything. And this is where the unhealthy boundaries aspect of octopus is coming in. I'm sorry, guys, this is a really harsh, me harsh message, but the universe really wants to get this through to us because it's time to clean this shit up. Okay. We need to take the focus off of our divine masculines and we need to start looking within. Uh, please excuse me. I'm pausing to channel. Um, so, okay. Let me go back for a second. I'll come back to this in a, in a minute. Um, as far as the mirror aspect to the Divine Masculine's spread, you absolutely, Divine Feminine, can look at this as your masculine energy. Your masculine energy wants to reach out to you, okay? Balance is being brought into your life. 
I know when I reconnected with my masculine energy, it was kind of like a, it was an aha moment where it was like, I've been here the whole time. I've been here wanting to support you the whole time. But we both were so wrapped up in the twisted mind view of each other that we couldn't, we couldn't co-create. We could not heal. We could not. Mm. Wow. <laughs> I'm sorry. That just kind of hit me. That was rough. But it sucks, you know? It sucks. Okay, I'm going to move on. <laughs> I'm going to move on. Um, okay, so the... Here we go. The shadow dynamic... And, okay, I'm just... I'm getting a little, I'm getting a little emotional right now because I know exactly what you're going through, Divine Feminine. I know what you're going through. Okay, I've been moving through this same thing myself and I kind of had to sit myself down and have a really harsh conversation with myself and be like, Eric, just cut the shit, man. Yeah, okay, fine. Your divine masculine is doing X, Y, and Z and it's triggering you and it's making you unhappy. But how are you contributing to the situation? Right? Are you looking at him through the eyes of unconditional love and, and compassion and saying, I know this is just as tough for you as it is for me? Or are you looking at him like you're a piece of shit, I never want to see you again? Because looking at your divine masculine or looking at your divine feminine like they're a piece of shit is not going to help either of you. Is also not taking responsibility for your part in the relationship. Because no relationship is a one-way street. They are two-way streets, guys. All right? Come down off the soapbox. <laughs> okay. The shadow dynamic in the relationship is deer. Loving, intuitive, graceful, the mother. The deer represents the feminine aspects of earth energy. This energy is available to all creatures, regardless of gender, but is especially potent in new parents. During the first few days, they are fully present, nurturing, and calm. Their inner beauty radiates, and a sense of grace calms the room. A deer personality affects others in this way, drawing them toward a quiet tenderness. The deer card may appear when a birth or celebration of new life draws near or when a situation calls for absolute gentleness and compassion. I was just talking about that. Compassion. We both need to see each other, both divine masculine and divine feminine. We need to see each other from a compassionate point of view. We need to recognize that this is hard for both of us. All right? When in balance, deer is receptive, compassionate, and nurturing. When out of balance, deer is concerned and protective. To bring into balance, one needs nature or interacting with nature or children. And I do want to point out a little funny little synchronicity that's been happening for me lately. I've been, um, well, first, I've been seeing a lot of couples, male and female, but the sexual orientation really doesn't matter to me. It's more about the masculine and feminine energies. I've been seeing a lot of couples canoodling, <laughs> we'll call it, making out all over the place. My attention is drawn to it. But then my attention is also drawn, I'm crossing paths with a lot of pregnant women. And it's funny because when I it was in the process of moving out and um, leaving my ex-husband, I was seeing pregnant women everywhere. Everywhere. And then right before I started started this channel, I was also seeing pregnant women everywhere. So I wonder... I wonder what's coming now. <laughs> okay. Anyway, that was just a fun little tidbit I wanted to share with you guys. Uh, oh, even funnier, a few months before I met my ex-husband, I had a dream I was pregnant. <laughs> and it was so awesome. I mean, I looked and I was like, how the fuck did this happen? But it was cool. I was happy with it. And that was right before I met um, my ex-husband. Or, well, I met him and I started dating him and then we became serious and ended up getting married. 
<laughs> That's so funny. Okay, moving forward, we have Wolf in reverse. Okay, ooh, it was the next one. Wolf, guardian of family and tribe, activism, ritual. The wolf's mission is to uphold the well-being and longevity of the pack. This is the illuminated aspect of the relationship, by the way. Healthy wolf energy expresses itself through activism, mentorship, humanitarian efforts, or teaching, religious or political studies. The wolf gets into trouble when it assumes every member of the tribe must follow suit. This includes children walking in their parents' footsteps. Although it will surely be uncomfortable at first, uh, practicing tolerance helps balance out agitated wolf energy. Contemplate the following. Embrace all, exclude none. When wolf is in balance, wolf is reliable, democratic, and fearless. When out of balance, wolf is judgmental and dominating. To bring into balance, one must practice letting go. Do I really need to say anything else, guys? Now keep in mind, this is a message for both divine feminine and divine masculine. But think about what I've been saying this whole time. And then look at that definition of wolf. And if you need to, I encourage you to go back a few minutes and listen to that definition of wolf again. Wow. Wowie, wow, wow. That was intense, huh, guys? I want to pull one more card. I want to pull from the um, Crystal Mandala deck here, okay? Give me just a second. I'm just gonna shuffle this up a little bit. And look, guys, I'm really sorry about being so harsh, um, but it's really all out of love, okay? It really is. Um, I want you guys to succeed. I'm very much, and if, I don't know, I think I only, I think this only came out in the, um, in some of the Zodiac readings, but I'm very much that queen of pentacles. First of all, I'm a Taurus, so there's that. That's my sun sign. But also, I'm very much that queen of pentacles where, you know, I'm gonna be stern with you sometimes because I want you to succeed and I know you can do it. I know you can do it. <laughs> I have faith in you, I love you, I want you to succeed and I'm here to help you. But if you're refusing to take a message, that's when the sternness comes, okay? But it's all out of love, I promise. <laughs> promise. All right, so I just want to take one message for the collective from the Crystal Mandala deck here. Just one message for the spirit. Purification. Angel Lavio and Black Tourmaline. I love Black Tourmaline. Um, I wear Onyx, Black Onyx. It's very grounding, very protective. Um, but And I had a choice between Black Tourmaline and um, Onyx. And I chose the onyx because the onyx was a little more gentle. But black tourmaline is pretty harsh. Like it's got some strong vibes to it. And this was a pretty harsh, you could say. It was harsh truth. The gloves have come off. The universe is like, it's time to go, kids. We got to do this. We're doing this. We are doing this now. No more fucking around. We're doing this, okay? So let me read this to you guys. I just want to read like the first bit of it. Purification. Okay, let me like, hold this up for you. <sighs> mm -mm -mm. <laughs> we bring you the gift of purification. This is your chance to let go of what you no longer wish to hold. It might be a toxic burden within your body, mind, or emotions you wish to be freed from so you can feel lighter, happier, and more energized to attend to the things that matter most. We come to you at a time when you have become overloaded with energies, thoughts, or even perhaps physical toxins or possessions inhibiting your capacity for joy and vibrancy. If there is any fear within at the prospect of releasing something from your life, be reassured. This cleansing is a loving grace that will help you feel happier. We are not here to take anything from you, but rather to free you from what you no longer wish to hold on to. The more you are willing to allow us to assist in this process, the better and clearer you shall feel. Insights into your relationships, choices in life, and issues that may have confused you will become very clear. 
you will become more aware of your truths and feel empowered to live your life on your own terms. There is only benefit to gain here, and our blessing comes straight from the loving heart of the divine to assist you. Okay. So there it is, guys. Thank you for joining me for this rough and tumble discussion. <laughs> yeah. Um, I love you all so much. And I want the best for each and every one of you. Yes? Okay. Take care, guys. I look forward to our next conversation next week. Bye-bye.